Hello there and welcome to another review of The Shield Doing a Couch. I'm your host Hector and tonight we're going to talk about the new solo album by legendary guitarist from Metallica, Kirk Hammett, called Portals. This is his first EP in his career and it was produced by Bob Rock who famously produced the Black Album and some subsequent albums by Metallica. So in this four al uh, EP I must say that I was very surprised uh, with Kirk Hammett on it because it sounds like he's having a blast and he's being unleashed. He's doing things that he doesn't do with his band Metallica and I'm very surprised that after 20 years they obviously let him do this solo album and I think it's it's great you know it's an album that if you go into it expecting like a thrash metal album or something like that uh, it, this won't be for you. This is more prog symphonic elements it sounds like very 70s prog at times, very movie soundtrack. And if you like those sort of music, this will be just for you. You will love it because it's really great. Uh, the album came out last Friday and they had a record store uh, release variant for it. So anyone that went to record store day this Saturday and got it, I think it should sound great in vinyl. So these four tracks in 27 minutes, they start with Maiden and the Monster. Uh, Maiden and the Monster is a song that is almost eight minutes long and it goes through peaks and valleys. You know, it has some great guitar solos, but think more solos that are more like slower paced. They take time. Think like someone like Ingi Malstein, but you know, uh, more mellow. And it also feels like the soundtrack to like an epic movie. Uh, some of the parts on the song in the middle, it has some more uh, riffing that's more reminiscent of what he does in Metallica. So he he changes it up a little bit in this song. It's, it doesn't stay in the same place, you know. It, it really goes through different styles, but uh, it sounds so creative. Uh, it sounds like he's having so much fun with it. And it's followed by the second song, The Ying, The Jing. Uh, that song has more of a Middle Eastern feel to it uh, because, it, you know, some of the guitars on it sound more Middle Eastern and it has some great soloing on it as well. Uh, obviously, the band that's playing with him are very complementary to what he's doing and it's a great song. It's followed by the third song that it was actually released prior to the release of this EP and that's called High Plains Drifter and High Plains Drifter is a song that would have fit perfectly in a Western movie. Uh, it sounds really like the ecstasy of gold uh, that Metallica uses when they open concerts. It has some parts on it that it's they have a guitar riffing that goes more faster, more syncopated with you know the drumming and it really feels like that should be playing when you have two people in a western ready to shoot at each other because that's what it uh, it felt like and i think it's one of the standouts in in this 4ep I, I really like that song and i like that he used that one to promote it because that's one of the uh sh it's the shortest song at almost like five minutes but it, it's really interesting uh like the the themes in it and you know the way he plays the guitar and it feels like a western movie uh, most of the song. Then the album finishes with the incantation. That's a longer song, like a seven minute song, and that song starts slower but then it picks up the pace, it has some great soloing on it. Uh, there's a lot of like feeling in these songs, even though there aren't lyrics and no one sings, you feel like Kirk Hammett is expressing himself through his guitar playing on this EP. And I was just very impressed with what I heard. Uh, I didn't think that I would like this EP as much as I did. Uh, I think the the production on it by Bob Rock, it's stellar. Uh, every part on the album uh, flows pretty well. And I, I wasn't bored with it at any moment of the 27 minutes. I would recommend this type of album to anyone that likes prog metal with symphonic elements. If you like the Metallica concert with the symphony, you will like this because it's that type of feeling, that type of vibe. 
if you're looking for more like fresh metal, like super hard, super fast riffing, this album or EP, if you have to get technical, won't be for you. So what did you think about Portals by Kirk Hammett? Were you blown away by it? Did you think it was just average? What were your favorite tracks? If you like what I'm putting out, you know, give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I have more content on the way. And something that this album doesn't have is wah pedal. So, you know, every time you think of Kirk Hammett, you think, he, you know, he abuses the wah pedal. I didn't hear a like a wah pedaling in this album, in EP, in any part of it. So I, I thought that was a change of pace, very refreshing. So I'm rambling on. Thank you and good night.